think I'm a little worried about the speaker sounding weird with for you with me on the phone. Okay. We'll see what happens. Have you posted our link on this flight behind? I posted the link. There you are. <laughs> have a lot of things on my head. All right, we'll see. What I'm hoping is that this removes the the audio a little farther away from the laptop. Um, but I have no idea how it sounds to everybody. So What's that? I look like a dork. <laughs> this is your captain. Um, so I can try it like this and you guys, okay, they're saying static in the background still. So I guess it's just going to pick it up. So maybe I'll just lose the headset. I'm looking for a little more feedback. Any more feedback on the sound? So have you watched them back to hear what the sound problem is? It's just, there's just this staticky background like noise. And I think it's um, because my laptop is, the fan is on high. Oh, yeah. I don't know, you sound good to some people. And all right, so good same as before. Okay, I'm just going to lose the, the, the microphone. Well, we'll see if that makes a difference. Oh, someone said, sounds good, only slight fuzzy. <laughs> um, okay. Ground control to major Well, let me, take, let me turn it off and then tell me how it is, if there's a difference for all of you who are tuned in and, and listening. Are the fan. Okay, okay. All right, well, we'll just, uh, we'll just do what we do, and I'll try Everyone to... should call you, and they could be on your phone on speaker, because you sound great to me. <laughs> I know, right? <sighs> okay. All right, well, next time I'll figure it out. You're just going to have to grin and bear it. I'm looking at my um, overhead camera to see where I am here. Oh my gosh, I just grabbed so much stuff because I don't really have a plan. And she's looking a little washed out. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not static wise, no difference. So you may as well not wear your exactly head thing, which isn't as comfortable. So if I turn the exposure down, it doesn't it doesn't read any better. It's still I mean it's a little better. Um, so it's just a little dark. She has lovely nipples now. So I should, pretty much, well, I should probably keep her covered up while I work. She is very weighted out to me. Okay, I'm gonna put a little. I'm not seeing cleavage. Right. I'll put a little dark on her. Get her, give her a bandeau. Get her covered up here. I don't know what I'm gonna do for her top yet. Um, well. Really, you know, we're not working on the body, so I think feel like the tail looks pretty good, right? Like uh -huh. you can see that, okay. Okay. Is there All right. blue at the bottom of the tail? Uh, that's, um, yeah. Okay. That's in my wet felted piece. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to get the sense of the yeah. color. All right, well, we're just going to put up with the fan sound and work on this tail. So. I'm cracking up that you went with the modesty. 
Yes, she needs to be. Sorry, we're not on this I know. Sorry. It is oh, distracting. I made them too <laughs> real. I made them too good. All right, so I have to decide how I want this to fit on her. Um, kind of like low rider. Kind of like that, I think. <laughs> And I can kind of, the other one I really like, I blended a lot. Um, so I just want to make sure that's centered. Pretty centered. All right, I'm actually going to start by tacking this on a little bit. I might have to take it off again, but uh, I just want to keep it. And I like this going up over her hips. So I'm sort of stretching it and forcing it that way. My piece isn't really necessarily shaped that way. You're able to really tuck it kind of the way that you want it though. Yeah, I'm really tuck, like tucking it in under her belly a little and tugging it up over her hips. I know. I mean, a lot of people did this already, so you guys are ahead of the game. And then back here, like I said, I got a little, I got a little too long. So what I'm going to do is cut this off. Um, I'm going to cut some of this off fuzz out the end that I cut, and then maybe put these back on to make a fin. Yeah, you want that pretty edge? Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it, pull it tight so I can see how much, how much I need to cut. You know, it would probably wouldn't be a bad thing to put a stitch. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll put a, a stitch or two just to hold this uh -huh. um, while I, because the felting doesn't totally hold, you know? Well, maybe I, can, your, I think I can do your it. Piece has some stretch to it, right? Let me angle this down so you guys can see from both. Um, I mean, not really. A little bit, I guess. Just cutting it. Uh, someone couldn't get in. They said it was restricted material. <laughs> Printer was kicking up on her lack of coverage. Oh my gosh, that's so Isn't crazy. Is that even possible? I guess so. Oh, now you're getting into cutting it. Yeah. That causes me pain, you know. I know. It's a little... So how do you know where to end the cut? I'm watching. Okay. So I'm still... I've got this about where I want it over her butt. But... I'm still, because she tapers so much, I'm still a little big down here. Uh -huh. So I'm going to angle this down a little bit. I'm going to angle it down towards her tail a little bit more because this is still, that's like a good inch and a half extra right there. But what I don't want to do is cut any of my pretty tail stuff off. Uh -huh. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to cut in, directly in towards the base of the tail. Here, I'll show you from, I'll show you from one side. 
So basically at like 90 degrees, because, so I cut a straight line perpendicular to her legs, because this is gonna fold over. Gosh, it's so dark. All right, let me lighten it back up, because now I feel like it's too dark. I was trying to, I was trying to darken it so that you could see her skin tone, but we don't really need to see it. We need to be able to see what we're doing. <laughs> so I've got her tail fin going out at about 45 degrees. Let's straighten everything up. So that's good. Let's see. And I cut this line at 90, and then this is going to fold over. So I'll do, except I just want to make sure this is centered first before I chop it. So I'm going to do this one. So these these fold over with a seam in the center. And now you can see how I really have a lot of extra coming up, um, coming up right here. So I'm just gonna take that off. Okay. Now I'm gonna take it off of her and fuzz out all these edges that I made. Let me show you from the front. Oh, it's so pretty. Well, maybe I won't take it off because I did tap it onto her, to her belly. So from both sides, I'm going to kind of aggressively um, try to fuzz this out a little bit. And I'm going to take it off. I am going to take it off of her. And this edge of the tail as well. What's funny? Um, I feel like almost physical pain as I watch you cut. I know. It's, <laughs> it's weird. I don't know what it is. Like, you have to do it, and it's going to be, it's going to look, like, seamless. It's because, you know, you made this thing. Like, you, you carefully constructed this. And then you're just hacking it. And then you're just chopping it, like, all gung ho. I swear, I someone else out there is feeling the pain, so. Yeah. Gotta do it. Ow. Maybe someone watching from their car. I don't know if she's actually driving. I hope not. <laughs> Or if she's just riding along watching, but she said she's diehard. <laughs> diehard Serafina fan. Oh. Alright. Okay. Now good. I can I people can people are feeling oh good. People are feeling the cutting pain. <laughs> now I can more deliberately kind of ta start tacking this on. Now that I've got my, my cuts, um, oh, although I feel like this needle is, <laughs> sometimes you stab and it feels completely ineffective. Um, but the breast is just like a dog, like a slicker breast. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad to see people are feeling physical pain. <laughs> Trace says she cut hers in three millimeter bits. <laughs> I'm just like, and then just cut it. You go for it, too. Yeah. I like, someone else said they kind of fucked to make sure they were ready. Yeah. Like, you check and double check and yeah. check 17 times. Oh, definitely best to, you know. Measure 90 times, yeah. cut once. Yeah. Once you do it a couple times, it's not as bad because yeah. then you see... How much, how it works, and how, think, yeah. how much better it is when you're working with the right size piece. I'm going to let these overlap each other on the back. Like, another option would be to let the fringe stick up. Um, but I think I'm going to let them overlap each other. And then let my fins um, hide my, hide my seam. Yeah. 
The sun will be so pretty with that silk edge. Yeah, I hope so. So I'm felting one side down, and then I'm bringing the other side on top of it. But the, there's just a lot of ways you can do this. So the idea of this is to play with it and kind of like figure out what works for you. You could sew it on, you know, you could even sew it on and use it as a time to make a lot of cool embellishments um, with uh -huh. your stitching, you know. Well, and it might be that the piece someone made is going to work a lot better one way than another, yeah. depending on the coloring and how that's heating up. And yeah. <clears throat> I am not a patient um, sewer. A couple stitches really helps. I'm going to pull a little bit more of this off. It's a little big right here. And I don't want it, I want it to be centered because I want the seam to cover it. So, someone's asking if it's really sticking. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean it's getting there. I'm gonna, it's gonna get felted a lot. Okay. Um, I haven't really this. I haven't really done this yet because I'm still digging at this. Um, oops, you might fall over, Tyler. Okay, I'm still digging at this. Oh, it's a little big right here. Doesn't matter what size needle to make it stay attached. You definitely want a stronger one. Certainly, thirty-eight. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah, thirty-eight. Yeah. Even a thirty-six would be okay here. Maybe it might be a little too grabby in your wet felting. Like, oh, okay. It might feel a little too. I always just do it by feel. Someone just said that silk really pops, and it totally does on the screen. Oh, cool. The, um, like the golden cool. tones are just, like, they almost look lit up. Yay. Well, part of, part of that is my bad camera and lighting Light. situation. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll take it. If you can, before you go, um grab a few pictures of her. Have you put some up? Um, yesterday I worked on her face and I okay. put that, um, I put that on fanfare. Um, okay. but yes, I can. Just, I'm curious to see the difference between, yeah. you know, your iPhone picture versus. Yes. Yeah, I, I like the blue and that gold. The gold is um, actually kind of like a champagne-y color. It's got a little okay. bit of pink in it. Um, yeah, it does kind of look like scales. Yeah. yeah, I think that looks good. So right now, it's kind of just, um, you know, it's holding. But when I felt the fins on, the the fins on the back here, like this, um, I think that'll hold you a bit more. So I have to cut these. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to end up cutting, I don't want them huge. So I'm actually going to be cutting most of this away. So let's see, I want to line them up together and cut them at the same time so that I know I'm getting... getting similar sized fins here. Yeah, lots of like random weird pieces of fabric. So now I will fuzz the edge of these out. And then where these attach, for poor arms, where these attach, um, I'll probably put just like some locks or that's what I did on the other one. I could do yarn. Before I put this on though, I'm going to get her tail kind of situated here. 
Yeah, you could use some of those remnants for her top. Right. That's a good idea. Look at you. <clears throat> That's not me. Oh. That's Laura. Thank you, Laura. That's a good idea. I'll make her a little altar top. The shells, like, I mean, I have some shells, and I'll probably use the shells as embellishments, um, but they are, they're hard to get to stick right, you know. I haven't totally figured out how to put those on. So this is like a paper airplane. When you fold this down, it should meet up at about 90. And then I pretty much just try to get the thin wire felted in there, yeah. And then you have this little spot at the base of the tail where you got to do a little patching. And... So because that fin wire has wool on it, hopefully the stabbing is going to lock it. Lock it in place so it's not swimming around in there, so to speak. So someone asked when you get the whole fin on, do you needle felt all over? Like on the bottom part, I assume. Um, do you do more like around the wire or do you do the whole, I do more just around the wire because it's all wet felted. So, I mean, yeah, you, you needle felt wherever it needs to stick and blend. Um, like I'm going down this seam a little bit, but So there it is from the front. But all of this, I mean, I just leave. I just leave let it. it yeah, just let it hang. Kevin appreciated your face video on Fanfare yesterday. Aw, good. That was fun. He said he, he said he struggles with faces, and it was groundbreaking. Oh, ooh. I figured you'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's, uh, you know, I still make a bad face, so, and it still takes me a good bit of work, and um, it's did not coming totally easily. Trying to show her little butt, her nice little butt shape. All right, so that is pretty well... Wow, placed. Yeah. So now we gotta fringe these. And you don't have to, I don't have to put these on. You know, I could just, I could just really try to work on blending that seam or I could put just a, a rim of locks or. You kind of really hold it up a little closer yeah. when you have a second to show. Oh, the, the mermaid? Yeah, just kind of where her seams are and yeah. what <clears throat> what's happening. Okay. Someone's asking if they can lay wool on a felted fabric for this. You definitely won't get the same effect. Lay wool. Lay wool on felted fabric. Like so kind of maybe use pre and put wool on that and then stab it in. I, Versus I, wet felting. I, wet I'm assuming felting, that's the question. Um, so I tried to keep my seam down the middle. It comes over to the side down here a little bit. I know that I know that the camera is not is not good. Um, wet felted wool. I think, do I want this on her butt? Or below her butt? If I go below her butt, no, then that, that looks weird. It's like it's coming out of her butt. We need it on her butt. <laughs> like, for real life. You know, yeah, I mean, you could needle felt this fabric. You, it's, 
you don't get the silk. It's not going like, to have the the whole idea of the wet felting is that it really, really felt it firmly and takes away any fuzziness and it just creates, that's why we call it a skin because it, it just creates a different, um, a different texture basically. I could tuck that edge in. All of this process um, can be done with a little more. Do I want to felt those two together? Yeah, someone said a split sail would be cool, but then it's like the inside. It's you want. not as pretty yeah. as the outside. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's subtle, so I think. I think I might just leave it apart for now and decide later. Oh, I cut this at a little bit of a weird angle. There's a lot of wire twisted up down here, so be careful as you're stabbing. Perfect opportunity to break some needles. Yeah. Any idea how many people are making mermaids? I don't know. We've had about um, uh, how many watchers are there right now? Hundred and nine. Okay. So but yeah. I feel like we've been closer to two hundred. Right. We've been closer to two hundred, and that that happens like you know, people sort of fade off or, um, but. I don't know, like I've seen a lot on fanfare, so it's really, yep. it's really cool. You have a lot of pretty locks happening there. I do. I'm trying to decide whether All to be by them. whether to be um, contrasting like with this teal that kind of matches the bottom. Mm -hmm. Or blendy with this muted um, muted locks. Did you dye those or where did they These come are from? that light um, that light bronze. Oh nice. Maybe I'll do it maybe I'll get fancy and do light to dark. So pretty. I got some other stuff here. This is another light batch. So it has some. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm getting into this. I'm getting right into this fiber art bundle like it's mine. <laughs> is. is that too Ooh. orange? It's a little too orange. This tone is better. So I am. I think I'm going to try and go light to dark. See what happens. I'm just going to like loosen up these locks a little bit, stab them in on the edges here. The 
Where's needling the seam? How fold the locks on? Is a question for Laura. Um, reverse needle the seam. I think in this case, just stabbing in is sufficient. I, I think the reverse needle, you run the risk of pulling out, you know, core wool and stuff that's underneath and kind of polluting your, um, okay. your, Kelly's in Maple One and she said she's loved the freedom of doing the mermaid because they're colors you don't always get to use. Oh, and definitely. Anything mythical. Yes. There's yes. just more freedom. Yes. I am enjoying that too. It's a really nice break from like, let's make this animal, you know, exactly the way it's supposed to look. And so I'm really liking it. I can't wait to do the dragons. Um, in the work in the class, I can't wait to do. Um, I can't wait to do the flowers. Okay, so I've, I have. It's kind of this silvery sage color, and now I have the champagne apricot color. And then I ultimately want to end up teal, so I need to figure out how to get there. Got this nice blue. So I guess it's going to go a little bit kind of greeny here to blue to teal. <clears throat> the question about the fiber on the pre felt could you lay the fiber on pre felted fabric, then wet felt? You could use pre felt. Yeah, you could use pre felt. Like, we just didn't use pre felt. Right. Yeah. What is your next mythical creature other than the dragon? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm real. I'm not like a huge mythical creature person. So. Yeah, this is the first. Well, you've made a mermaid before, but. Right. We've been working together a long time. You've never made a dragon. Yeah, I made dragons like way, way back way early on. The blue and the tail is a silk, right? Yeah, the blue and the golden color are silk. If you use pre-felt, does the final piece shrink less? I don't know. Well, fairies. Fairies are mythical. You've done some fairies. That's true. We've done a few little, little, few little beings. Mary Marin is looking forward to the flowers and all the new colors. Yes. We are carting away to make sure we have plenty. And mm -hmm. by we, I mean, <laughs> I mean Sassy and Mary. Laura said we did gnomes, but she missed the memo that gnomes are not mythical. They're real. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's what you told me. It's true. You know, because we make them accurately. Not mythical, but how about a peacock? Yeah. Oh my, you know what, honestly, I'm kind of not interested in making it. <laughs> well, trying to figure out those feathers, like, want to make it the like, right size and use real ones. Yeah, it's just so, it's so monumental. I really, like, hats off to, to those who have, you know, like, I just, it's just one of those things in nature that. Maybe, maybe someday. I should never say never. I'm just not ready to tackle that. What is the name of the blue silk? 
Oh boy, you're gonna have to help me out on that one, Kyla. I don't know. We sell that stuff. We've had so much. I don't know what we have anymore. I know. I'll look. Thank you. Doing a search, looking for silk. Um. Is it Azure or no? Um, Bay? Silk? Silk, silk? It's, um, it's, um, yeah, Mulberry. I'm not seeing blue silk listed on our website. Maybe we I don't, don't have it there. Maybe we don't have it listed. I think we don't have it listed. We're playing catch up with ourselves. All right, I wish I had gotten a scene more centered because I have this fuzziness sticking out on one side. Ruth wants to know what color your mermaid's hair is going to be. That is a debate. That is Still a no. debate. Yes. Still a debate. Those locks look awesome. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So I'm putting these dark ones down here. I think it's an okay transition. Huh? Well, this really is a perfect project for a fiber art bundle. Oh, yeah. Oh, name. yeah, totally. And then you have all this variation of color in one place. How about a unicorn? You did do a, well, you did a Pegasus. Yeah, that was really Pegasus fun. Pegasus was awesome. It would be fun to do a unicorn that's, like, not a horse. You know, that's, like, really mm -hmm. the, the kind that's, like, between a goat and a horse. So what did you put on there to connect <clears throat> kind of that open piece of the fin? I'm just putting the locks on it. Like, all the way down? Yeah, just down okay. to the down to the bottom here. It probably would have been good to sew it if I wanted to be a little more. I like it. You talk about hair material ideas. Someone's still thinking about what to do. <laughs> what are the options? Okay, so the other one I wanted to take pictures of her in preparation for this felt along. And so I was going to put pink locks on her, but I just grabbed some merino that was here. I think it might be better to look in the straight on one for this. But the lighting's better. And I just started stabbing it on kind of like as I would do long hair, like, you know, starting around the side and the back, put some bangs, stabbed on layers, and then I just twisted it <laughs> up. <laughs> so she's sort of got this like sculpted, sculpted hairdo um, with, it has some aqua silk in it. Like she has a lot hanging down here of, of aqua silk. So that's one option to go with roving. Um, I pulled out for today locks. So if you have like beautiful long locks and you can do, um, and you can do you know, have them be super long, that's awesome. If you don't have super long locks and you want to do more um, like an afro, that's totally a possibility, which I think she would look really cool with an afro. And this um, fiber art bundle has, um, has like just tons of cool colors in it that kind of go with her um, with her tail and it has some aqua which goes with her face um, 
So I can do that. I also got out yarn. Um, I got out two, two bundles of hand spun. So she could have, it would look kind of like dreads. So I think that would be fun. This has a lot of purple in it. Oh, I, I think I might do that. I think that would just be like crazy different and super cool. This yarn, this yarn's more murky. Um, so I think I would go with the brighter yarn. I've never put yarn on as hair. Um, so that this would totally be, totally be a uh, learning experience. So there's lots of different ways to go. Um, the important thing with hair is understanding the hairline. <laughs> and to, oh, oh, and then the other thing I got was some golden fur. So this is a long staple, but I don't feel like it's long enough. It's only about three or four inches long. And that would give her very straight kind of, she needs to be a little more like wild than that. If you, <clears throat> Kevin's asking if you were to put a fin on her head and then box around, would you attach it like the tail? Oh, if you were to put a fin on her head. Yeah, let's do that. That's <laughs> his idea. I'm stealing your idea, Kevin. Wait, where's my pieces? I don't know if I have. I feel like I cut off two other little pieces. I'm not sure that's a head fin. Well, I think I'm not gonna do a head fin because if I do this yarn, it is gonna be, it's gonna be totally crazy as it is. All right, so there's more stabbing on the tail. Just I have, I have, you know, a little patch here where where the cut is that's not great so i'll put a little cover up on that um and definitely just more getting everything tightened down but the locks really um the locks really oops uh oh what did i do there we go i got it i got it The locks really held everything on there. So yeah, a fin, I would put the fin on and then um, oh. and then put the locks. I'm just darkening this up a little bit. Are you wanting to change the camera angle back or not? I just did. You'll oh, see it. Sorry. You'll see it. I gotta hold her up for a second. I think an embellishment around like, oh my gosh, like if Jenny did something beaded, mm -hmm. like around her, um, where her tail changes to her belly would look so cool. Yeah, we do not sell hand spun, but... <clears throat> there is definitely some amazing hand spun out there. Oh yeah, just go to Etsy. You'll find you'll find beautiful hand spun. Kevin said Lee probably has cool yarn. I'm sure she does. Hers are sometimes awesome. she gets she funky. Often does natural colors. Yeah, yes. she often does natural, but sometimes she gets some colorful stuff Lucky. going. Yeah, I'm a little bit. <laughs> trying to decide what to do about her hair because I know you guys are probably not working with hand spun. Um, will she have a tattoo? I mean, she could. I could do a mix of silk and mohair. <clears throat> Someone's asking for a measurement from the hip to the start of the tail. <clears throat> they said theirs seems too long. Okay. 
Well, when we when we your... yeah, when we made the armature, it was eight inches. Uh, I'm sorry, that's the hip down here, but from her waist to the start of her tail is eleven inches, and from her the her point of her hip here to the to where the tail fans out is like nine inches. <clears throat> somebody said it used to do, excuse me, Somebody said you should do the hand spun if that's what intrigues you. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> we still can do this together and you still can see the way that I approach it. I approach it like my own hair. <laughs> so, um, this side's fuzzier, so I'll do that. So I start over the ear, the hairline that would be over the ear. So I usually put one like kind of like a, what a um, sideburn would be. Now, if you're using a lock, you have two options. You can either just stab the end of the lock in. And if you do that, you just stab the end of the lock in. You might want a little core wool holder or something like a little, just a little, or some sort of little coordinating fuzzy wool that is really holding that in. If you're going to fold your lock, then you do it like we do, um, like long fur fiber. And you yeah, this is like super long. You stab the center of the lock and fold it over. The problem with folding is you get the fuzzy cut end as well, and that's not as, you know, it's just not as exciting. It can look like a bad haircut. Yeah, it can. Yeah. So I'm, I don't know, I'm throwing a mix of things in here for better or worse. So that's a little silt, um, which does not felt. So I'm going to take another piece of yarn. I'm pretty much going to hack away at this yarn. <laughs> I don't recognize that hand spun. I'm yes, sorry, Tina. I bought. I actually, I bought it. I did not make this one. So then I go... Then I go around... Well, let's do both sides. Then I go around the back of the head. And then I start working towards the top. And that way, if she's going to have bangs or she's going to have a part, um, it all becomes... It, 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 you, you need to really think about real hair and what you're doing. So I'm doing my one in front of the ear. And this shrinks their head too, which is okay because it also adds a lot of volume to their head. And I had put a lock on the other side, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, but I want her to be like pretty wild. I might have made this. People are picking some cool stuff. I might have made this a little too long um, to get. What needle for the hair so that the head does not get received? I'm still I'm using my pen tool, so it's probably gonna might reshape a little. But that's what I was You're just not saying. Stab it, the heck out of it, though. Yeah, and that's what I was just saying. It it shrinks it, but it's also adding so much volume. You know, like I mean, I'm putting like big chunky ends here. You know, so it's gonna 
it's having a, a balancing effect. Mm-hmm. Someone said they made her butt too big and her tail slightly too narrow, so the fin is struggling to close. Sounds like trying to get your jeans on. Oh, I see. After too yeah. many days of PJs. Yeah. Just um, take it off, like, stretch it out, like, fringe the ends. You know what I mean? Like, really, you got to kind of manipulate it. This hand spun has a gold. Um, it's it's, it's um, plied with a thin gold, so it has kind of a cool... So bad on have got her arms like shoved all over the place okay so now I'm gonna do the the lower part of the back of her head oh my goodness it's so wild that's like perfect colors and so wild yeah I, thank you whoever said go for it with you Bunch of people say go for I it. was kind of looking for permission to, to stray. I just, it's part of what I get excited about in this is um, how, oh, this has a little bouquet in it, like a little swirly. Um, sorry, I'm a queen of not finishing my sentences lately. Um, how all when of you, the... When you bought that hands you had no idea that it was... Exactly. And, and so we all hoard, right? We hoard these things. Like a little fiber, good little fiber collectors. If you don't, you should. <laughs> and then it comes to be that you have the use for it and... And it, this hand spawn is so beautiful. Like, it is so, so pretty. And I've been holding on to it. But now I feel like it's worthy of my mermaid. And my mermaid is worthy of it. And it's uh, coming together. It has some sorry silk in it. Do you remember where you got that? Like, any recollection? It might have been at Sheep and Wool. Sheep and Wool? Yeah. But what I really want to show you guys is a treatment um, for the for the the front because I think that's sometimes where people go astray. That piece is a little too Christmassy. So that's why I went ahead and threw a couple of locks in there because that way. I'm, I'm already introducing them and they're a little easier to control around the hairline and the bangs and stuff. Oh. Can you hold that up close for a minute yeah. before you start at the uh, front? Let me go this way. Whoops, this way. And then let me go this way. Well, I need to get, I need to get more I need to get more on the sides and stuff. This piece has um, silk ribbon in it. So you're shingling your way, like working your way, overlapping bottom to top. But when I get to the top, I'm gonna to do some folding because um, some felting in the center because then you can, it, you have two 
pretty sides instead of you got to cover up all these ends is what I'm trying to say like you can't have these ends going all the way I'm going to save that for the top because I put that pretty long I was trying to figure out how I have to hold them in place Every piece that's coming off of there is like a little treasure. It is. All right, a few more on this side, and then I'll start doing some folding. This is a, like a synthetic. Doesn't want to stick. Bit. Yeah. <clears throat> if you put on hair, then trim it. Does it just look like a bad haircut? That is a that is a risk you take. Definitely, I can show you guys Little Red Riding Hood, which um, I did with um, Surrey, and I feel like it was pretty successful. Um, You gave her a haircut, yes? I gave her a haircut. I actually took her to my hairdresser. <laughs> and she got a tiny little cape, and she got her little bob. It was fun. Okay, she's getting a pointy head because I'm going into the side, into the side. Okay, so now that I'm at the I'm at the crown, I'm going to do folded pieces. So I'm going to put this on, stab the center, probably put the tiniest little piece of core wool, even though I'm pretty sure this is felting, and and let it fold. And <laughs> man handling her. So so I'm working with a little bit longer pieces because I need them to I don't want them I don't want her hair all the same length. I want it to have some volume. So she's going to have some layers. Trish is asking if you cut your hair again. <clears throat> I didn't. Looks great. Thank you. Probably need to. But I think I'm not going to, I think I'm going to go see my, see my hairdresser. <laughs> yeah. It's time. So when I do the folding, I am putting a little core wool or a little, um, any kind of fuzzy wool piece across it. Because it's only getting felted in that one area. And because part of these folded pieces jobs is to overlap the ends of the other ones that aren't folded and help fold them on. I'm getting a little confused about where I am on Oh, here's a really fun piece. Did you get a teeny tiny mouse from Janet Crompton? In, like, in the mail? 
that she said, hope you liked my teeny tiny mouse I sent you. It might have been a picture. We've had a couple things come in. Oh, we didn't get anything email? in the mail. Oh my gosh, Janet. I'm, sh uh, I'm sure I did. I'm trying to picture it. Ooh, that papa. Is that teal in there? Yeah, it's like it's bright aqua. Alright. Her ears are just, they're in there, but they're, they're pretty lost. This dark one on the back of her head. Wow. All right, I'm feeling bad about the teeny tiny mouse. Like I, I'm, 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 I'm pick. Oh, it was, it was teeny tiny. It was. Super small. Like, I would never work that small, small, I think. Is that right, Janet? And it was an email. Oh, wait, what was that? Part of her. Oh my god, she's, she's so, how can I show you guys? She's so crazy. All right, she's going to look so good as soon as we get the right, the missing packs of yeah. We need a nice big purple one up there. Kristen would like to do this to her head, her actual head, not I her know. mermaid head. We should, we should do dress. Well, I just cut all my hair. I'm gonna. Have to we'll talk about it in five years. <laughs> <laughs> but I think my hair's getting long. I think there are wool dreads. Like you could work this into your hair. If I remember right, Joyce probably knows. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it because it's it's a good um, contrast to her face, like this craziness. It's um, it's real bold, and and so it's making her face look a little more delicate. Janet said that's correct. Yes, good. Yeah, I, I do remember. It was very impressive. Have you ever done a selfie? You guys, I, 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 I gotta, I think I'm gonna make this bigger because I need to do the top of her head and I have to hold it weird. Like I can't, I can't hold it. Um, I can't hold it on the, uh, I gotta hold it like this. Did I ever do what, what? Did you ever do, have you ever done a selfie? S-E-L-K-I-E. S-E-L-K, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I'm like, I need to Google it. Is that a, no, I think that's silly. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. Ah. It's a myth. Mythology. In Scottish, Scottish mythology, Selkies are seal, seal folks. They change ah. from seal to human form. Okay. Well, that's, you're going to have to look that up. There's yeah, no there's a movie about that. About an island. What's that one called? She probably knows. It's like an Irish movie. I think that maybe is a... Irish. Water. Okay. All right. Yeah. People know. <laughs> if you want a part, then you're going to you're going to keep doing folded pieces up to the part. If you don't want a part, eventually I'm going to do another folded piece on this side. Eventually I'm going to do a couple just going across. Well, I don't know. I think I think she might just keep me the folded pieces. I'm gonna keep going with the folded pieces and see where I get, and then and then figure out how to address her big old forehead. Look 
looks very cool from the back. It's really, it's really cool. I'm really glad he did the Dion. Someone said they're a spinner and they never thought about using their hand spun for hair. Oh. <laughs> now it's raid the staff. I mean, yeah, there's not too many occasions where hand spun is like appropriate for hair. But, um. On your mermaid with the like blue green face and. Yeah. Funky ears and it's totally appropriate. Yeah. This one is like. Refi like a little lighter and refined, so I'm moving it towards the front of her forehead. I'm sorry that you guys can't totally see, but we gotta just plug away at this until we get to where it looks like something. I'm having a little vision issue. Like it's time for meters, I guess. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Oh my god, I love it! Oh, that's a nice spot. Just came out. <laughs> Just burst really out of me. Say it over it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> And her cool ears disappear into her cool they hair. They totally did. Oh, earrings. Does she need earrings? Now, you have a person yes. that would make you earrings for her. No, Jenny is making her some piece of jewelry. I may have to send this picture to Jenny so that she understands that she has become... Wild. Yeah. Oh, I like... She's got um, this dangly piece here. I like that. So she just needs... A little more forehead coverage. Let's see. Dark. Put one here. Jenny is going to love her. Yeah. I thought Marcia was coming in today. Maybe she's here and she went. Whoa. Oh, I just lost track of where I was. Matt, compliment on your earrings. Thank you. So that's it when I first saw you today. I was like, ooh, your earrings. All right, so now I'm going to look for pieces that have a cute, like, tighter detail because I want that to hang over her. Um, kind of, you know, be a shorter, shorter piece on her face. And then, um, maybe a couple of lines. So I'm really just nailing these down with, um, with little pieces of wool. Let's see if there's any other like super special section. I have really like chomped away at this. Join the bifocal club. We welcome you. Yeah. I tried contacts that were bifocal and I just could not adjust. Mm -mm. <laughs> just a little more. I'm going to take a look at the locks and see if there's something that is perfect. 
Sarah has got to be so much fun to work with. They got that right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's you've given Kyla an opportunity there. She is. You're we very do. Fun to we work have with. a lot. We have a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, so funny. Ah. Are you just seeing it now? Yeah, I'm just yeah, just seeing. And then we find a super cute. Super cute blondie one. Oh, a seashell could hold some hair aside. Yeah, so that sure. would be adorable. So the last one I saw you put in, are you doing a few locks too in the front? I'm doing a few up? locks um, so that she has a few shorter pieces. I feel like I need one more daintier. Um, she got one more daintier piece of yarn if I can find one. Okay. Yeah. I think I want red front and center. Let me see. Here's that. Ooh, that's interesting. Red, red, red. <sighs> well, look at her. <laughs> One, I'm just going to stab in. Can you imagine what I would have to do to my hair to get that kind of volume? <laughs> some of us have crazy hair that we wish we could tame, and some of us have medium hair, and some of us. We don't have wish, so much hair. We have it doesn't hair. do a whole lot. I like. It looks a little dark. Let me go. Let me go on. Oh, yeah, that's better. You can see. You can see. When I held it up straight on, it looks very dark, and it's not. It's not dark. Um, clothing. I don't know. We had a piece uh, of... How are you going to compete with the hair? I don't know. I feel like the clothing needs to be a little more simple, right? Oh my gosh, I have a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> so this isn't very thick. I'm just going to clean up a little bit <laughs> so, I can so see you know what you're working with. What I'm doing here. I, I didn't have a floor. I felt like I had bigger pieces than this. Like the First ones I cut off, maybe. Well, you cut off the fin. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. I cut off the fin. And then and you then, cut from the fin. Yeah. Her hair is fabulous. Oh, it's yeah. Fabulous. So the bundle is the bronze bundle. But it is one that came out light. Yeah. The bronze bundle is amazing too, though. This one just happened to be a little lighter. Yeah, I mean the the regular bronze bundle is awesome. Her hairline's a little like I want it to have a little bit of softness to it, like it's a little extreme going from pale skin to crazy dreadlocks. So I'm just putting a little baby little locks around here. Fiber. I think it must be a Wensleydale. It's very, very soft. So 
from the bundle? Um, it's from not. It's from the yes. It's from the. So we've got the bag, the little bag, but then I have this great big bag that I've been pulling from. That was also some kind of. But where did this come from? I must have put that on earlier. It was also some kind of like not quite right thing. All right, so I don't feel like this makes a good top because it's not enough. So we just want to get naked. How would you do bangs? So bangs, I would do. So you got to think of your own your own hair. Like when you get when you get bangs. <laughs> bangs are not. But they don't come. It's not just one line. Like you go back a few layers, like back onto the towards the crown of the head a little bit. So I would put them on like longer. I'm not sure what kind of fiber you're using, but put them on longer and then and then trim it. And when you trim it, drag your scissors. Like don't just go across. It's a whole thing. Like <laughs> the hairstyling is a whole a whole thing. That's why I took that's why I took little red to um to my hairdresser. hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> um Okay. I'm not sure that I really have a clothing plan. It's you know, and if I did, like it really could be anything. Those are seashells. I have a few cool things. I have this crab, um, this crab pan. It's so dark, so, so washed out. And I could like get that on her hand. She could be holding this cool thing. It's like a conch shell. Um, You could put shells in their hair. You could put shells embellishing, you know, their clothes. I think the other one had normal hair, the one that I made previous to these two. And um, and so I had the hand spun kind of draped on her like seaweedy, you know, but she's already got so much going on. I, I won't, I wouldn't do that. Um, but I'm going to look and see. I'm probably can gonna you fall. Go ahead. Sorry, can you turn her? Because she's looking at you, but we're seeing her upside down. Can you turn her so that she's the other way around? I think people want to just gaze at her for a moment. Oh, okay, should I cover her back up before we get kicked off the internet? Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. I what I'm about to say is that I feel like I'm gonna fall short on the clothing for you guys today because I I just don't know. I just don't. I don't have a plan. I don't have. You know, you could make a halter top by um, by felting with prefell or like or felting um, two triangles. You know that like tie behind her neck. I think that would be really cute. I, that's what I did on the other one with um, just some fabric that I had. Uh, I'll hold her up for everybody in one second. I just made a halter top out of this gauzy fabric that I had. And I just I just stabbed it together, but you could sew it together. You could be do better than I did. <laughs> um all right, so I'm not sure maybe I should make the other screen bigger and just hold her hold her hold up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's her tail. And the wire kind of disappeared in there. So I think I'm going to, I can either do a couple of stitches, you know, just to make sure the wire stays out embedded in that fin. And then here's her. 
crazy hair. This is her book. Is that Deneen? I think that's Deneen. She reminds her of Cher. Yeah. She's, like I said, she's she's coming up a little dark. She's not, this, she's not this dark. She's got a lighter, like her eyes look particularly dark. Let me see if I can um, adjust it a little bit. Yeah, I would think some kind of simpler top because her hair hair and like her skin color she has so much going on you guys I did not do that I don't know what happened just give it a second I'm sorry what'd you say Kyla what were you saying oh I was saying simpler on her top because she has yeah. so much going on with her hair and yes I agree like forehead color and um, having, um, I'm having issues. Huh. Can you see it that now? Totally, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it just went totally graded out. It won't, um, it won't change back. Okay. Sorry about that. It won't change back. No, it won't. You can see like four giraffe spots on the left. I did something very strange. So we just make that go away. <laughs> we come back here. Um, yeah, I think what I'll do is end here and then, you know, take some pictures and show you, show you where I ended up. But um, press on default sort of thing. Oh. Uh, Okay, let me see. I'll play with it for a second so I can say goodbye. Mm. Oh, you just shrunk. Let me see. Mm. It's got a thing where it says auto, but it won't. It won't auto. So. I think a very simple yet extravagantly beaded bandeau would be amazing. Wow. Simple yet extravagantly beaded. Yeah, a little sparkle would be good. She needs a little yeah, sparkle. The task, the task for Jenny. Like, yeah. bandeau in that color, but mm -hmm. with some sparkle, you know? Yeah. That be cool. Good. Yes. All right. Any more... Um, any um, more questions? What about a thin layer of core between tail layers together, felted together? Someone's is coming apart. Mine is. It's not. It's not felted together. The only place that it's felted somewhat is down the seam, where I put the locks. I think I'm not going to put. I'm not going to try to felt it together. I'm just going to put a couple of stitches around the the wire here like just just maybe like two or three right in here and that way the wire stays in the right position um, but I don't feel like I really want this felted together if you did I would um, just be aware that when you stab all the way through it's going to make it a little bit fuzzy but I, I don't mind having you know the openness Have of it. Open. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It is an oxymoron. Be simple, yet extravagantly. <laughs> I'm saying simple design, simple bandeau. Yes, simple design, yeah. But it, it needs to compete a little bit with the hair, or it's too simple. Right. Because like, her hair is yeah. amazing. Like, she's got to have some kind of <laughs> bling going Because you have that hair, you don't not have bling. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, we'll figure out where, uh, how, how and where. Um, I feel like asking flowers in two weeks. So where are we with her? So next week, um, we're going to have a fiber side chat. And part of that is going to be explaining the flower process and, um, and what you need. And then, um, 
the question is, I'm going to see if this, how bad this is to turn this up. Um, the question is then, I like talking to you guys. Not, um, the question then is, do we need another week for everyone to get supplies? So we will, um, we will reconvene next week. And if we do, we'll do some like simple little, simple little thing. You know that, or I'll take a week off. I'll take Saturday off. <laughs> but um, but yes, the flowers are incredible, and they're so fun, and they're very satisfying. The colors are beautiful. The possibilities are endless. Um, so we will plan on one o'clock next Saturday to discuss to dish. Dish any availability in your online classes. I have nothing, and, and this is what happened. Um, I started switching sites, and I, I got involved in setting up the new site, which I think is going to be better because um, here. It's going to be better, but it requires a little more setting up and a little more work. So it's kind of like, do I do I just keep putting energy into online classes the way I have been, or do I stop, take a month to really organize this new space that's going to be so much more user friendly? And that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. So I don't. I think there's one class that has room in it right now. Um, I think it's the fiber focus class. And, um, but other than that, no. And so I'll keep you posted. What we would do is have the courses on the website in the online workshops page. And then every course would link to this, this new site. And then um, it has a lot of like kind of automatic emails, reminders, these like these whole little lessons that I can set up. I can include documents. Um, we can have conversations there. It's just a more involved teaching site. So that's what's happening, and I'm very excited about it. I just realized that I couldn't do both things. Um, I had to kind of pick. I had to kind of pick. <laughs> so that's where I am, and I... Um, but it's a goal and one that I'm very excited about. So, and it shouldn't take, you know, it just it's just a matter of getting the new site organized and getting the courses on there. Um, so that's the news, and we can talk more about that next week. And think about, you know, I did a poll on Fanfare asking, you know, one class a week, evenings, you know, weekends. Um, so that was helpful, and that helps me. That'll help me design the courses and the timing and everything. Anything else? Um, no, lots of thanks. Okay, well, thanks everybody. Things. This what's, was what's like, up, what's up with Creature Feature? <laughs> we could talk about that in the Fiverr side chat. Yeah, this kind of is Creature Feature. -ish. Yeah, Creature Feature. Um, yeah, that that sort of replaced what felt along. Are the online classes just for U.S. users? No, you have people no. from... Yeah. The timing can be a little tricky. Um, so if I do something late afternoon, Eastern time, that kind of works, you know, because the West Coast people are awake. The U.K. people are still, um, you know, are still up, but it's late. So it's... <laughs> It's, all, it's tricky. Yeah. It's, so it's just a timing compromise. But the new site, um, everything's automatically filmed and available to see again. But yeah, we have a couple of people in Australia that are up at, well, she's doing an evening class, so she's up at, you know, 5 a.m. And what was the person who was, it was the middle of the night. Anyway, yeah. I think, yeah, I thought it was an evening class that they were in somewhere in Europe, I thought. It's just hard to get the timing, you know, good for everybody. But. 
So I this, think that's it. Yeah, seeing the mermaids has just been so cool. Like I'm just I'm blown away. Like I'm enjoying it. Um, this has been really really fun. So let's, um, I'm going to really try to not, this is what I do is I tend to leave something like this and then go to the next thing. So I'm going to try to finish her and post some pictures. Um, so I hope you guys will do the same. I can't cool, wait cool. to see. Yeah. All right. All right. Have a good day, everybody. 